I mean, I have to say, I call this Moroccan roast lamb, but I don't think this is how Moroccans cook lamb, but it's how I cook it when I want to bring Morocco to me. It is just a leg of lamb here, which is transformed so far from your idea of a normal Sunday roast by my magic ingredient, the most wonderful Moroccan spice blend, Ras El Hanout, containing just about every exotic spice you can imagine, and flecked with rose petals. Oh, so beautiful. I have to read this to see exactly what's in it, because there's so much. Galangal, the rosebuds, ginger, cardamom, cayenne, allspice, lavender, cinnamon, and about twice as many as that, including absolutely some nigella seeds. And I need to mix some lemon juice, some minced garlic, olive oil, and some freshly chopped coriander, just for another hit of pungency. And then what I'm gonna do, and I love this bit, is stab the lamb with the end of a sharp knife and push the spice mixture into the holes, smear it over the top, chuck it in a plastic bag and leave it to marinade for an hour or so. I've taken the lamb out of its bag and look, you can see it's still beautifully covered with its marinade. I've preheated the oven to gas mark six, that's 200 degrees centigrade, and I'm gonna give it an hour and a half, by which time it'll be aromatically blackened on the outside, and I do mean charred, but still juicily pink and tender within. I'm travelling eastwards for Morocco for the accompaniment to go with the lamb, this is from Turkey, it's called Jajik, and it's really just a variant of the salads they have all along the Eastern Mediterranean of mint, yogurt, cucumber and garlic. The lamb is about to come out of the oven, so it's a perfect time to make the Jajik. I did peel and chop this cucumber, and this couldn't be simpler, it's just a question of mixing all the ingredients together. So after the cucumber, some wonderful Greek yogurt, and what I love about this is the contrast between the smooth coolness of the yogurt and the heady scentedness of the spiced lamb. Oh, and I love it as well, stuffed into warmed pita breads for a sort of different kind of cucumber sandwich. A garlic clove is what I need. There's more if you want this really hot. It's grated in, mince it in some dried mint, just a sprinkling, and some lovely crunchy salt, and of course, some freshly chopped mint from the garden. Stir it together. now is drizzle with a lovely green ribbon of olive oil. Mm, beautiful. And a final sprinkling of mint. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. 